Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator for Ice to Australia in Little Bits. Today we're leaving the outskirts of uh, Dubai and we're coming to the very tippy top of this, uh, whatever you want to call it, this peninsula which is actually in Oman, Dib Dibba Airport, before heading over to Iran tomorrow. So let's go. All right, all's looking good, let's get going. And say goodbye to uh, Dubai and Um Al Kuwain Airfield. Say hello to all the little cars rushing by and everyone in the car park there. Very busy little airport. It's, looks like it's closed because of the X's. So what's going on, algorithm? What are you doing? Let's go. Get our wheels up. A bit of a gust of wind. Head out over the water for a bit as we climb. Get our flaps up. Try to get a bit of speed up. It doesn't want to climb. Come on plane, what's wrong with you? Yeah, slept in, huh? You're a bit tired. Here we go, finally a purple arrow is happy, and we can turn around, 89 degrees for 5 minutes 27, on our way to Ras Al Khaimah International Airport, yet another international airport within like 20 kilometers of Dubai, makes 4 of them, 5 of them maybe, a lot of them anyway. Anyway, we've got to head back to the purple line. It's miles away that way. Let's do that first. And then we'll be much happier. See what we can see. Little building and whatnot on the edge of that island there. Little town. I don't think we're high enough now. Let's get to our trimming and power settings. As we head towards the purple line and also through this desert. Alright plane, come on. No, no need to go any further down. Let's just level off like a good plane. Bye bye Dubai. So it looked to me like these, uh, there's quite a few mountains up ahead here. Look, yes, we can see them. There they are. All right, we're basically at the purple line, so let's turn this way now. 89 degrees. Beautiful. Marvelous. Lovely. these sand dunes though from the lush wealthiness of Dubai just out died it's dead desert but I don't know if it's dead but desert anyway The giant freeway that uh, goes through the entire country probably was even the same one way back in the previous country Saudi Arabia whatnot
nice day for it nice to have a bit of clouds for a bit of interest but not too much that we can't see we've had pretty good weather so far except for that first couple of days where it was raining what's the temperature today in Dubai 18 degrees name well, that's warm Got a little village set of farms just here in this sort of almost valley. We're starting to get some little hills. Got to see this airport soon as well. It's got to be somewhere here. Quite a large uh, farming district here. Up on a plateau. I think that must be the runway just ahead of us here. We're not landing there, we're just visiting, seeing what this part of the world looks like. OMRK should be showing up soon on the... There it is on the edge of the map. Hello, Ras Al Khaimah International Airport. Lovely to see you. Come on, Purple Arrow. You can do it, Purple Arrow. There we go, Purple Arrow. Alright, we want a 5 degrees for 3 minutes 1 second. On our way to Al Sakel Field, which is another airport right next to the town of Ras Al Khaimah. So, this is Ras Al Khaimah's international airport, but it's got another airport closer to the center of the city here. Another rather large city just uh, hanging about here in the UAE. have a look around oh a camel track is it a camel racetrack down there perhaps big round circular thing again yes I am aware that round circular is a tautology I've given up speaking proper English. It's too hard. It's too hard. So what have you for us, Ras Al Khaimah? A lot of peoples. Much more deserty than Dubai was, though more uh, a traditional city of the area rather than one that's just been built in the last 20 years 30 years whatever it is for Dubai Nice to see some mountains for a, for a change. We've had plenty of desert. 
up until this point flat desert so what's going on here with this harbour with its two uh, monoliths there I'm not seeing the right... oh there it is, there's the runway that's the other airport Al Sakir Field See what we've got going on here. Got a bunch of little buildings on the edge of the, the water over there. We've got a nice little park set bit of greenery. Very cool, very cool. And a whole bunch of uh, of houses. It's utterly odd really, isn't it? <laughs> it's almost uh like the algorithms lost its mind. Anyway, the purple arrow moved ages ago. Let's go 23 degrees for 5 minutes 32 to a town called Galila. Reset our clock. There we go. Couple of big buildings there. Big uh, waterfront. Maybe it's a museum. Cool, very cool. Look at that. It's like a lovely spot. Maybe it's an opera house or something. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, uh, the question is, what's my next... Uh, well, it looks like... I may not need to gain too much height here. I've basically selected things along the coast rather than inland. And inland would be the mountains. An impressive set of mountains it is too. Um, and basically at some point up here we're going to cross into Oman. Which uh, has at the top of this peninsula. Even though it's not connected to Oman which is out over that way somewhere. But there you go. I guess the UAE didn't want the top of this, or it was extremely important for Oman to keep it. So yeah, Oman's in two bits that aren't connected by land. Field of some sort there. Possibly football. You probably think I'm obsessed with football. I'm not. It's just... It's a landmark that's easily noticeable in all the cities and it reminds me that we're all very similar around the world all these cities have similar things like football fields little set of houses there in a little lagoon more fields big building there could be some kind of mall maybe we got here hello oh big circular arrangement of houses there that's very interesting and very cool mountains Thank you, that's all, uh, Gamer. Much appreciated. Request 
Emirates Center. Good day. Oh, I might actually climb a bit. We, you know, we can obviously just fly along the coast and avoid the mountains, but I want to go over some mountains. I want to go over a little bit of mountains. Why not? Why the hell not? How dare you talk to someone else, ATC? How dare you? Oh, look at that valley that goes up there. We've got some houses and things. Very cute. Very cute. It's another part of the world where you can uh, be in the mountains at one, t one minute and then down to the coast in the next. Right, this is my custom point, so uh, this must be Galila underneath us here, this town here. Probably, it's probably more, I think it was probably more of all of that. The, the name on the map was here, but uh, anyway, we want 20 degrees now for 3 minutes 12 seconds. And we're going to Buka. Buka. I think we can actually level off as well, we're high enough. Yeah, pretty much. Have a look at this uh, big town hiding in here. What you doing hiding in amongst the mountains and the water here? Huh? What you doing? A significant town almost a city if you sort of uh, add in all of this as being the same place which I guess it sort of isn't it's different towns they have different names no doubt oh, we've got a nice little patch of green in the middle there right. probably should look ahead in case we're not high enough don't really want to crash into the mountains that would put a cork in our uh, bottle of wine. Got on with the wind here. Ten knots. Who are? Who are? Goodbye, Emirates. Well, we must be about to cross into Oman then. Musket Center. Towns. I think this must be just here. It must be Buka. And I don't know. We're crossing a yellow line here on the map, so that could very well be the border. We're now possibly in Oman. And oh, look, completely different uh, uh, resolutions of aerial photography. <laughs> I think that probably proves it. We are now in Oman. Now we want, uh, so that was Booker down there, little coastal town. Uh, we want uh, 62 degrees for one minute 52. There is a little airport over here somewhere. Kassab Airport.
yep, obviously not much information in this part of the world. This is very low res, probably satellite, I guess, than, rather than aerial. What's going on there? Is that a... Something man-made there on the top of that hill? Something used to be there, maybe? Interesting. Here's the airfield, but we're not going to land at this one. This one was a candidate, but uh, there is um, there was one right at the very tip of the, the islands up there. So that's where we're headed. But here, this is uh, Kassab Airport. Fairly significant international looking airport, nice big runway. Big harbour as well. Alright, 26 degrees for 4 minutes 36 to Dib Dibba Airport. Got a cool name as well, the Dib Dibba. Hope we can find it. Nice and green at the base of the mountains here. Again, now in completely different looking cities and towns. It's amazing how each country... Well, I've said this before. There's a couple of things going on. One, every country does have its different way of doing cities and towns and houses and whatnot. But two, I think the algorithm's probably, uh, you know, divided up into countries. You know, this is what Oman buildings sort of look like. This is what UAE buildings look like. And so you just get a sudden change in, in the style of things. At least that's my theory. Uh, we need to be losing height, so let's power down just a bit. Bunch of cool islands just here at the top of the peninsula in the Persian Gulf. And yeah, can we see across the water to anything? No, no it's a bit hazy. Oh, there's a mountain over there. That's uh, Iran. Iran over there. Where we'll be heading tomorrow. Now, where's this airport? Oh, we're only about, you know, we've still got another couple of minutes. So I think it's possibly here or here that might be an airport there not sure I'm not sure it doesn't look like enough space to be landed in an aeroplane but hey if you're going to put a runway on the very end of the peninsula here like this I'm going to land on it that just seems too cool you know what I mean I mean, why there's an airport up here? There doesn't seem to be any people up here, but hey. I guess it's uh, useful in some way. The old Dib Dibba. Oh no, look, I think it's here. Is that it there? I think so. It's probably not got ATC, but let's find out. Dib Dibba. Nope, select runway. We've got runway 1 or runway 19. We'll go runway 1. Uh, what's the wind like? Yeah, okay, not, not correct, but hey, we'll land it anyway. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Probably should go around and land on runway 19 but 
You know what? I want to land facing the water, because that'll be cool. That'll be bloody cool, I reckon. Why does it look like it's on a slope? Hmm? Why are you on a slope, little runway? there's a little town there on the water. Isn't that cute? It's going to be interesting. I think there is a slope or there's a hill in the road. Maybe I should be doing runway 19. We might have to go around, but we're okay for now. We're okay for now, but see what, let's see what happens when we get a bit closer. It might just be some rendering issues or something. Yeah, it's just that this hill's in the road. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're gonna just get over the hill and then drop. Drop. It's probably about right. There we go. Float down a bit. Coming into land on Dib Dibber Airport, Oman. What a credible spot to have an airport. Boom. Boom. Get our brakes on. We have landed. We have arrived. Look at this. There's a little thing on the hill there. A couple of planes. A bus. Just what are you doing, bus? Come here. Come here. Come and pick me up. Watch out for the zombies. Uh, that was Lake 43. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye.